Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today I want to show you how to use uh, extreme lenses on uh, Intrepid 4x5. So the Intrepid camera is probably the most popular camera of the last couple of years because of its price point, but it does have a few limitations to that price point. Uh, one of them is the lenses you can use. So if you want to go shorter than around 75 millimeters, you're going to have problems. If you want to go longer than a 300 millimeters, you're also going to have problems. Of course, there's workarounds for that. You can use a 300 millimeter that's a, a tele lens, so it would actually focus at less than 300. Or, and if you're going backwards to a wide angle, you can use a recessed board. And that's what I wanna show you today. So, for example, if I'm using a 150 lens, like uh, right now the camera is set there, a 150 lens is pretty much there. So I'm shooting my normal lens, I'm taking pictures, all is fine and dandy, as you can see. Flat lens board, no issues. But if I want to go for a longer lens and my bellows and focusing bed won't let me, there's such a thing called a top hat. So this is very much like those hats, you know, that they used to wear back in the old days. And it's a lens board, the Linhoff Technica style, but it has these screw on spacers and they have nothing to them but spacers. And uh, these spacers, what they let you do is extend where the lens is so you can focus further out. So you buy these on eBay pretty much nowadays and uh, you're gonna see how simple it is. We attach our top hat and then they sell you these uh, lens boards that are round and have a screw on the front, just like it has a screw on the front of the lens board. So now we just put our lens here and we screw and because we're on video, it'll be really hard to screw at the first try. Um, but it's fairly simple if you're not recording yourself. It makes that super nice squeaky sound that we all love of metal against metal. And basically now our lens is that much further. So if we were shooting a 300 millimeter lens, we could focus uh, something that's fairly close. If we're in a 250 millimeter lens where we're like we are now, you could actually get into macro, uh, you know, field when you're taking a picture and if you're shooting on a 150 or something extreme macro. So this is a top hat and you can exchange that little spacer for different sizes. I'll leave a link below for the eBay item because maybe you want to get something like that. I think it's really an inexpensive way to get closer and use more lenses on your cheap and intrepid camera. And now we're going to go backwards to the other way. So as I'm saying, uh, on the Intrepid camera, you can use wide angle lenses, uh, like a 90 millimeters, no problem. And the bellows are fairly nice for that. Uh, I do wish they included uh, an option to do bag bellows. But right now, for example, if I'm all the way here, which I know I can go one more backwards, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, and I'm using a 90 fine, but if I wanna use a 72 millimeter, like one of my favorite lenses, I can't really achieve focus and it's kind of hard and you know, you're too close for what the camera can do and you're limited. So you can use a recessed lens board and this one's an official Linhoff one, which is probably worth as much as the Intrepid camera. But this is a 72 millimeter XL from uh, Schneider. And this is an amazing lens with a lot of movements. You can use it on five by seven. You can do extreme movements on four by five. So what this does is it brings the lens uh, center backwards around 20 millimeters. And there's different recessed lenses. There's 10 millimeters, 15 millimeters, 20, and probably more. So this is very simple. All you have to do is put your lens in there, uh, fit the bottom, lift the lock, and lock it. And right now, I would be able to achieve focus, not so cramped up, but a little forward, and I can do more rise and fall, or maybe front tilt or front, you know, swing or anything like that with your Intrepid. So you're making your inexpensive 4x5 camera a more complex tool, which is very good for large format. I really like using a bit of everything. So you get those limitations that are on the camera and you kind of remove them with these two different lens mounts. So yeah, that's basically what the video is all about. I'm trying to help you guys find maybe an option to shoot more stuff with the same camera you already own. This is a 4x5 Mark IV special edition black, uh, which I really, really enjoy. It really looks very nice and sleek. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about what lenses and whatnot, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. So yeah, 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.